Hey guys, Spartan here, and welcome back to Backpack Hero. Uh, in the last video, I forget what happened. Oh yeah, I uh, beat the uh, Magma Core off-screen. I did one mission. I did the easy mode for a uh, satchel, just to get a, an extra spark so I could conveniently, hopefully, uh, finish that off and get the final zone in this episode. And apparently, I'm an idiot because I forgot to build the, uh, the carpenter all this time. So if there was any quests that I needed that, uh, required this building. Once again, it is, it's not aligned. That, that, that really annoys me more than it should. But yeah. So, uh, yeah, if I, uh, let's do dirt paths for now. I'll fix this up later. It doesn't align once again. They, they really need to fix that. But yeah, if there was anything that I needed the carpenter for, then, uh, I guess it's my fault. Don't tell me this is how you get bridges. It's just decorations mostly, it seems. Yeah. Regardless... Build a bird. Yeah, there's, there's no bridges here, it's just decorations. Creates building materials while you're in the dungeon. I guess some of the buildings would be useful. Sconce. You're a bloody sconce. Market stand A. Greenhouse. This is a... You can research stuff here. I guess this is a building that creates another building, so I, I better create it. Beehives. No, no bees. Bank. It's treasure every uh, expedition, so why not? So yeah, uh, the magic run that I... The magic run. The run I did on my uh, off-screen run was a uh, magic build. For each agricultural decoration nearby. Uh, it's just a, just a research place. As soon as I unlock a uh, bridge... Holy shit, this building is massive. I, I have, like, nowhere to put this because I don't have bridges yet. And I still don't know how to get bridges. So, uh, game, if you would be so kind as to inform me of the potential way of gaining bridges. Because, uh, I sure as shit have never found them. This bush. Rock. Wonderful. Hey, I need a key for, uh, this. Yeah, this is just decorative junk, which probably increases productivity of my things, but it is way too late for that. Oh, I can sell junk at the bank as well. Interesting. Well, I don't have bridges. And I uh, don't think I ever will, evidently. Because uh, I've got all the paths, and there's, there's no option for bridges. I talked to a bridge dude over here. Apparently this is a guy. But, uh, yeah. Evidently not. Oh yeah, I've got some hymns I need to drop off at a librarian lady. I picked these up before. And a needle healer. What a prick. Haha, <laughs> funny. Okay. So I picked up uh, pieces of crate as well. I managed to grab two of them somehow. The head is like a four spaces thing. Ah, some sort of owl creature. You have more for me to read? Yeah, sure. Uh, this one. Mary twice lived. Or lived. Unlocked a scientist. I think that was a Halloween skin originally. Okay, do I have anything else? Yes, I do. I have two more. <clears throat> yeah, I got the Ring of Doom on my last run. And the uh, Wizard Staff, which basically carries on its own. Eclipse. The Dreaming Tree. Knight Acquired. Never gonna be using that. I talked to a tote 
just in town and she says, oh, it seems you're doing fine without me. And yeah, I will continue to do fine without you, tote. No. No more to read. Right, I've got stuff. I picked up some random junk, but I don't think any of it is particularly useful aside from, like, mana stone. Maybe I should keep the uh, Ring of Doom as it's a magic item, but... Hang on. Gotta talk to a woman across the Brit River, wherever she is. Where is she? That's the wrong button. Oh, there she is. That guy has a mission for me. Right. Get these out of my inventory before I forget. It's gonna take one of those uh, lost sparks to get him, so I'll probably just get the uh, key first. But yeah. You have a mission for me. I guess you were the one who wanted me to build the uh, carpentry place. Okay, you can build bridges now. I guess I needed the carpentry for this. Took long enough. Jesus. Oh, wait, is it in paths? God damn it, where's the... Okay, no, it's just here. Bridge. Well... Why can I not place it like that, but I can place it like that? I don't understand anything in this game is building. Is that even being blocked by the building? No, it isn't. Interesting. Well, now I have access to all this place. How much does this cost? 200 treasure! Okay, holy shit. Well, that sucks. Time to sell off some of this junk I have. Right, I uh, got the, the cactus in that last mission. So... Crab Cactus unlocked. I picked up a whole bunch of junk to sell off. I don't even particularly remember what I even brought back, but... Yeah. Also, I'm never going to unlock the Venom Sword either, because... First off, it requires a curse. So you have to take a cursed item with you. Yeah, have a... have a... have a... instrument, which I wasn't using. Here we go. Uh, Magic Rare. Why do you need a uh, Lost Spark in order to unlock a mission that gives you a Lost Spark? That seems counterintuitive. I'll get the Blade Summoner, why not? Apparently it got buffed, so maybe it's better. There you go, get the Ethereal Staff as well. Wait, was does that to say I had an unlock that required an unlock there? It's the Necronomicon. Was that always there? Funny the Necronomicon requires a uh, curse. It's very thematic. Right. Selling some junk and then getting back to the trail. I would have done this on camera except, you know. Uh, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I got a guitar pick as well. Because that's a, an item from what's his name. I need mana stones for something, so I'm gonna keep that. Keep that too. Coins, pouch, small key. Olive branch, that's a relic as well. I wonder if there's a, an achievement for grabbing like every relic. That's plenty of treasure. For now. But yeah, um, I think there was a tutorial mission for Toad, which gives a spark, uh, hang on, just one minute. Yep, Toad, to tutorial, I was, I was gonna make the, uh, the joke, but the game did it for me. You need a golden seed and a uh, lost spark, so let's go through this. And this will be a perfect opportunity for, I just realized my microphone is way too close, sorry for about that. Uh, yeah, this will be a good opportunity for me to air my grievances about the fact of Tote's existence being an affront to humanity. So, yet the carvings and the uh, stumps. How do you play? 
Yeah, Tote draws carvings each turn. And this is a uh, scarecrow. So do that. And they're summoned and they don't do anything once they're summoned. At least these ones don't. So, and you have something like this tree sword on use for damage. That's a summonable weapon, for instance. And you'll notice a theme with these. The on summon adds one energy. Oh, oops. Order lull. I expect that to be something, but yeah. Summon cost. He's have one. Let's build a makeshift swastika. It's guarded carvings can be drawn again. Banished carvings are removed. So use this pot of greed, what does it do? It draws two carvings from your deck. Oh, right. Toss. That's a thing. Do that, and then Toss removes every carving in your backpack and does one damage for each. Right. That was the easiest Lost Spark I've ever owned. Or ever earned. I think that's enough tote for this entire series, though. Because, uh, yeah, luck-based drawing character. Who, uh, in a game where, like... So this game has, like, the huge gimmick of, oh yeah, your inventory is, uh... You know, you gotta organize your inventory in order to maximize your power in combat. And then tote just throws that mechanic out the window for a, a shitty Slay the Spire card drawing mechanic. Which basically sums up why Tote is not good. Strange. Easy mode uh, gives a lost spark, but normal run doesn't. Well, I guess we'll... Uh... Also, I noticed about easy mode, I could have done this earlier before I unlocked the end to uh, got these rewards. But considering that I unlocked them now and I'm doing them now, uh, it's going to take a bit more time. So, easy mode Pachette run, just because it gives uh, the spark. Each pet has its own special effects. So you got Stinky. Like these uh, ones that you get at the start are unique, you can't find these again. And they're kind of janky with how you hover over them. Yeah, on you, steal 6 damage. A uh, modifier is plus 10% damage to everything because of easy mode. It gives- it has one energy each turn, it costs one energy to summon. Uh, Coco adds one energy to Pachette instead of, uh, itself. On use gives seven lock. And this one is some sort of weird crab. Yeah, take- take the snail. The snail is the best one. Give me a relic. It's the alloy. Uh, not actually particularly good with, uh... What's her name? And you get this summoning stone. Pet below is summoned. This is a common item as well, despite the fact you cannot actually find this in the run. Meaning that if you have coral, you can use this to summon a bunch of pets for free. This is deeper than I've ever gone before. That is a complete lie, we've seen you in Act 3. Let's go Crypt, because, uh... I don't want to fight those stupid Sparrow Knaves or whatever they're called. Ah, free level up. I don't think that, uh... That's a weird animation there. I don't know exactly which, uh, items she can and cannot find. Because I know there's some stuff she can't, some she can. Alright, let's just take the drinks. 
And this isn't like Tote who just cannot find uh, normal items, by the way. Pets can only hold treats. And these ain't treats. So, uh, Pachette has a downside of only starting with two energy. But she can uh, funnel her energy into her pets to use their abilities. And also, whatever's in front will take damage. You can drag, uh... Yeah, as it's saying, you can drag Pachette in front or one of the pets in front to prioritize. Probably should have just killed him that turn, but... Gotta show off uh, the usefulness of it. Also, her inventory is uh, smaller than Purse's maximum, so yeah. Just expand outwards this way. An adjacent weapon is used, plus one damage until used. Deals 10 HP, adds great luck. Alright, uh, have a leak. I do need to do that so that, uh, it's getting benefit from the sword. But yeah. Vision of danger. You can get more pets, and there are much better ones. There's one particularly broken one, but... I'll not talk about that right now. I just want the great luck, honestly. The combat ends, heals 1 HP. Well, it's something. Uh, Pachette can gain armor, unlike Tote. But if we start comparing every character to Tote, then we will have, like, no standards. Also, since when did she start with 45 HP? I swear she used to start with, like, 30. Like, that's... Is that, is that an easy mode thing? It might be, actually. All right. I can just block with the... Uh, what's her name? That's her name. It's what's her name. Oh yeah, damage modifier. I'm actually doing more damage than I thought I would be. On scratch, adds two burn to enemy. Well, that sucks. Effigy. When taking a lethal hit, the effigy is used instead. Destroyed. Right, let's throw out these coins. And let's take a... Uh, club. I can't be bothered moving around the pets just yet. Mole Man. Jagged Blade. Very good. Blanky. Amazing. Vorpal Blade. Also pretty bloody good. Even the whip is fine. Friendlies alongside get one energy. You know what, I'll take another spin. Not the axe, you piece of shit. Okay, I want to get at least two good items. There we go. Right, <clears throat> throw that sword away. I don't need it anymore. I do need it anymore for our Hourglass 1, but shut up. The Soul Axe is, uh, really bad. Yeah, this gives energy to your allies. It's also a one-space item for some reason. Okay, I'm never going to use the club anymore. Jagged Blade. Jagged Blade with just any plus damage modifier is already really good. Easy mode just makes it easy. Peasy, lemon squeezy. Instead of difficult, difficult, lemon difficult, as they say. But yeah, look at all that food I've got. I could just easily funnel all my food into the town. Let's try that out. 
And then the snail gets to be used. Have to click on the snail itself. The snail will heal at the end of combat, fortunately. I know the snail has a name, but I refuse to give names to walking escargot. Right, there's this. So, uh, this affects the uh, snail itself. Add zombie. I forget what zombie does. We'll take damage from healing and heals from poison. Unfortunately, I have no poison. There is no escape from the poison, obviously. But still, shut up. Eh, I should probably do it like this. So if I'm going to use this snail helm... Uh, I need to place the snail here. Because uh, it disables the item above it. Uh, from where the snail is, obviously. Put the toxic kunai here. I'll have to get rid of the soul axe eventually, but yeah, it's not that big of a deal. What do you got? When defeated, adds four poison to all enemies. It's the revenge. You're selling the robot body. Unfortunately, I don't have the inventory space for that. Sorry, nothing. Maybe I should sell the alloy. Maybe. Uh, I did see the uh, traveling trader or whatever his name is. But uh, yeah, I, I gave him an item. And that item was like a a legendary, and he gave me a oh no, no, legendary, a relic. Why is this item even in the game? I hate it. I don't think I'm going to be able to level up, unless there's a combat in one of these uh, zones across here. Alright. Alright. Whip you. Use the snail. But yeah, it's usually just optimal to uh, have what's her name here be the one blocking. On kill, non summon, plus one gold. That's pretty good, actually. Damn, I get an emerald, but I uh, don't have a good setup for it. Like, yeah, giving... Actually, that gives three damage because of the multiplier thing. <laughs> yeah, on you, gains nine block. Why not? Just, just, t just take everything. Okay, there is... There's no combat here. One regen to a ring, two spikes to a shield, haste to a shield, burn to a weapon. No, I'd take damage to a weapon over any of that. You know what, I'm gonna sell the alloy. It's 17 gold. Oh god, crab. Let loose the crabs of war. I just wanted the luck, really. Another one of these. Uncommon. I want something rare to sell. Actually, I have the effigy. Surprised effigy made it to the final game. It isn't particularly useful. I'll probably buy that robot body. Okay. So, uh, Jerry has a uh, two energy cost to summon. So it's actually probably the best to get off a free summoning stone. You can only choose one. So I think I need to do that and then summon... Because the, 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 the snail has no summon cost. It's just that if you summon it with the stone, it applies the each turn one energy to Pudgett. But Jerry also does that. 
as geriatric as he is. That was a terrible joke. That's a terrible bird call. All right. Give me that. Yeah, it's probably just best to stack a... Stack block on the snail. I think Jerry can uh, give you... It's extra things, the energy. All right. <laughs> yep. Okay, put that like that. Oh yeah, Jerry has energy. Actually gives spikes every turn. I need to remember to do that. But yeah. So now, uh, Slimy the Snail over here actually applies a thingy every turn. Block. Hang on, does this... Okay, that only applies it to adjacent ones. So I'll need to reorganize myself if I'm to take advantage of that. Alright, let's put you all on top. Shield Spirit. I'll probably just take the Shield Demon. Shield Demon gives me a, a free use of the jet. Okay, well, not free. I still have to do that, but... It gives me something. If I just use it last... I really do need to unlock a space here. So I can... Whip plus Jagged Blade. Whip plus Nain... No. I say that way too much. It is poisoning my mind. I'm gonna see what's in the chest first, in case there's anything I want to bring back. That's a red hoodie. That is definitely worth bringing back. Throw away the fucking other boots. They take up too much space. Right. An adjacent weapon is used. That's not gonna do anything. Yeah, have a second leak. Yeah, I think that's good. This isn't really armor, obviously. Like, each turn it adds one block because of the knight's shield, but... In a sense, that doesn't matter either. Because, uh, after you get hit, it's disabled. You're disabled, you may say. And I'd say, wow, rude. Alright. You know what, I'll buy Curse Removal. Heal all pets. I don't think I've ever actually used that. Chanted Swamp, Deep Cave. Let's go to the, uh, Swamp. Where Shrek lives. Hey, uh... What was that enemy called again? That wasn't the Dark Lady, that's the enemy... Final enemy, whatever. So three damage to a weapon would be kind of good, but I probably want rage if I'm going a uh, final zone. There's a big dinky, just adds block. Basically the same as Coco, but not as good. But yeah, that it gives one more block. It takes up more space. Reminds me of. Ugh. Uh, let me reposition myself in my chair. Reminds me of that dude on YouTube. He, the YouTube channel is called Dinkster Daily, and he just uploads the same clip of uh, Spy Kids 3 where the dude says, Somebody ring the Dinkster? Every single day. With maybe sometimes uh, variables. Something even scarier is under his hat. Do I run? With the spider? Probably. Uh, shiny is kind of good, but creepy is a dodge tank. Dodge tanking can be good against certain enemies, obviously. It completely trivializes some. But yeah. 
Yeah, chest of valuables, let's, let's level up first. But yeah. Summon the snail. I don't think I need to uh, dodge tank here. Let's just demonstrate though. Look at that. All right. I need to click on the thing itself. A dodge tanking is kind of a weird thing in many games. A lot of games are not balanced around it. When an adjacent consumable is used, heals 1 HP. Not very good. Summoned pets deal 5 damage. On summon, deals 3 damage to everyone. That's kind of annoying. That's like a... Not the point of the game, considering the fact that usually uh, enemies have way more HP than you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Never mind, I can cheat. I forget. Who needs to think when you can cheat? Go on, Jerry Coin. Oh, I should have done the the whip trick. Reorganize and then block. It's just a little hex. A little hex never hurt nobody. I could have gained one coin from that, but... Eh. I don't think I actually need the spider. It does take up a bunch of space. And space is a disgrace, as we can uh, confirm. Probably just want the uh, lightning bolt. Put you there. That goes there. Hang on, I, I can do this better. Jerry doesn't even have any items, but Jerry kind of doesn't need any. So yeah, now Knight's Shields can buff uh, Whip and Jagged Blade, or the, use them. Put a dart there. Just need to remember Coco needs to be in the top of the row constantly. Hooray, five experience. What a bargain. There's a gauntlet. It's a very good uh, item. It's on sale too. Gotta have it. Yeah, it's only four block for this character, because I can't expand outwards. Revise pet with uh, one HP. Yeah. Not particularly interesting. Add a forge slot to something. Forge my gauntlet up. What did the uh, smith here have? It was just damage to weapon, wasn't it? Yeah, just damage to weapon. Right, no keys. I've once again been swindled. You have no keys either. That's the thing as well. The more items you unlock, the less keys you're going to see. Why does the game always lag when it goes here? Why is there an elite right in my face? Go, snail. Alright. So, I hit you. I'm going to have you hit there. Do that. Uh, use Jerry, move here, shield, use Jerry, use snail. Good. One, two, three, middle, shield, reorganize, Jerry, snail. Got a gold for that. Alright. 
Happy Buckler. Happy Buckler is kind of pretty good. Pretty good. Pet gains plus two block. That is a giant turnip. And then you'll be like, well, yeah, that's literally what it's called. And I'm like, yeah, true. You're right. Quite right. Very much want to just take the Happy Buckler, the Jade Axe, and the uh, Bronze Breastplate, and the this, and the this. Happy Buckler gets taken every time. Easy choose. I put it here, actually. It works. That's the thing, these sigils, I need to grab them eventually, but I probably just wanted them on someone who has more inventory space. Hang on, there you go, Jerry, have, have some leaks. Praise the sun. Eh, that's probably not worth it. Jadax is... <clears throat> Jadax is almost certainly worth it, however. Oh, I just reorganized that in the, like, exact wrong way. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll sort that like that. Do I need these sapphires? They don't give much, but if I remove them, I lose... Oh, yeah, it's only two damage I'm losing. It's not much, actually. Can't take more items, actually. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, I'll just sell the uh, Jade Axe when I can. Unfortunately, that means I can't uh, spam Jagged Blade, but... Uh, once again, I have an itch inside my ear. It is very inconvenient. I guess I should take one of these. Yeah. That's fine. What do you got? Rage to melee weapon. Easy. Of course, uh, rage does not affect every single summon of yours. How much damage does this do? 14. Just 14, then 16. Easy. Do that, yeah. Bolus, on use, adds one sleep to enemy, destroyed. It's actually incredibly good. Pet gains on someone adds five blocks to Pachette. Uh, kind of useful, but not really. Alright. Put those there. Slightly better. I'll take the bowlers. This works on bosses as well. This is just a free sleep. It is incredibly good. God damn. Let me get some space on this uh, boss dude. Oh yeah, I forgot to use Jerry last time. Gasp! Jerry, where would you be without you? And Jagged Blade lethal. Easy. Pet gains on kill, add one mana to, connect to connected mana network. It's good, but yeah. There's a leaf guitar, I've gotta take it. Just because it sells for a bunch. That's like half of my motivation. Money. Alright. Oh, do I get that red pearl? Red pearl is amazing, but it's probably not as good as a forge for a rage. What's in this chest? That sells for a bunch too. Poison apple. Just heals pets. What do you got, my my scroll? Added some Archangel wings. That is amazing, actually. Unfortunately, they are all expensive. Right, summon you. The snail goes in front. All right. Uh, how much block do you give? Eleven. Oh, I forgot to order properly. Eh, whatever. But sh just have uh, Buckshed go in front. I have all this armor for a reason, I guess. Oh, 
two. Oh, that was that was lethal. Never mind. <laughs> okay, do that. Have some more block. When any pet is summoned, adds one haste to self. That's not as good as it sounds, honestly. Like, yeah, oh my god, haste. Haste is amazing stat. Yeah, well, not really if, uh... Unless you're running this on a pet that actively is blocking constantly. And even then, you probably want to summon them first. Paladin Sword. It's nice. Just lug all of this garbage around so I can uh, feed my rage addiction. It's not as big as my pickaxe addiction, but it certainly exists. Okay, if I get uh, enough gold to buy anything here, I will in fact buy that red pearl. So, 15. I do that. Oh, actually, I forget. The Rat King is like creme de la creme in terms of uh, benefits from Jagged Blade procs. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Look at that. I have 50 rage and it's turn one. Get out of here. Uh, Dorume. It's a Leo Hajaka Dorume. I don't know if those were actually the lyrics. But I gotta take the Doru with me. Praise, praise Jerry. I wish I could carry some of this junk with me. The, the doggy bags and stuff like that. The doggy style bags. I will not take any more items. Okay, you carry one more item. Uh... Here's the thing. Archangel wings are also really good. Eh, but... I guess uh, Red Pearl takes up less space. Adds plenty of damage. Yeah, sure, I'm scaling Rage. Every turn, but... Helps him win on turn one. You know, most of that Rage was, quite frankly... Being given by the, uh... The Tooth Necklace. Take some coins with me. Right, what do we have here? I mean, I know what's there, that's a level up. Hmm. Let's do that. Can probably set this up so, uh, the lightning goes here. That just looks a little better. It still uh, activates everything. You know what, I'll keep my pets here next to each other. The little pet hole. That sounds uh, gross, but uh, it really isn't. It's you who has the dirty mind, viewer. I only have uh, 10 gold to spend. Legendary item, crimson energy. Damn. Kinda can't do much with this. My the inventory for a pachette is so limited. Oh well. Seven gold profit. What does this do to trades items of the same size? Eh. I didn't even check the pets, but none of them are particularly interesting, probably. It's tiny. Does damage and on kill gives rage. Delhi is probably one of the better ones. Dirt. Just gives block to uh, everyone else. Honestly, probably better than uh, Coco, but Coco gives uh, energy to Pachette. You know what? I'll, I'll take Delhi, because Delhi is kind of useful. Kiki. Does damage twice. Probably the uh, best DPS pet there is. But I don't need DPS. I have the Jagged Blade. Oh yeah, it's you again. Ugh. 
you again. Let me check my Discord because people are pinging me. What is this? Blah, blah, blah. Nothing interesting, nothing interesting. American politics. You know, always the worst type of things to see. All right. Incoming snail. Oh, it's someone new. But yeah, uh, six block to all uh, creatures in front. <laughs> that stupid rage. Sorry, my uh, dear Watson. But unfortunately for you, uh, Jagged Blade rules. Why can I re-roll into these items I just got rid of? I don't understand. It, it annoys me to no end. I don't particularly need the uh, thing. What does it even do? It activates lightning every turn. But that's about it. Actually, I think the pets... Yeah, it activates the pets on turn, adds uh, energy and stuff like that. But I don't plan on taking damage every turn. You know what? Yeah, just take that back to town. I'll sell it later. The coins. The fish. This is junk I don't actually need. Can I take the pets back to town to sell? No. <laughs> that would be funny, though. Don't you agree? Dear viewer? No? Okay, I guess I'm in the minority here. Another robot head? I, I already got one. I don't need another. Surely. It's, uh, it's not intended. Here you go, have a rock. Well, let's, let's, let's take the dynamite. I'll blow up my pets. <laughs> if this this game doesn't have achievements yet, but if there was, there should be definitely an achievement for a destroying your pet with dynamite. It'll be titled, Why Would You Do That? Do not have the uh, pathway unlocked here, obviously. I don't know how long this video has been going on for, because immediately before a... Uh, checking the tote thing, I took a bathroom break. Because I had to vacate my bowels after seeing tote. <clears throat> Two poison to a weapon. If it's in the same row or column as a consumable, it's disabled. Three blocks armor. Adjacent armor gets minus one block. Three blocks to a shield. Can't be touching the backpack's edge. Haste to a ring. It's garbage. Cursed Forge appears too late, usually. This is an Amethyst. That's, that's good. I need that for Amethyst Buckler. Oh, Skipping Stone's got a uh, update. Strange, because in the tutorial prompt it had its old image. Me, put up an image of what that looked like right now. Yeah, you see? I'm not wrong. I'm never wrong. Oh, okay, never mind. There's Amethyst here. Free Amethyst! Okay, there was no free amethyst. I mean, if you're gonna give me three citrines, I won't turn it down, but... Okay. Did not give me three citrines, instead gave me a box of nails. I don't really need building materials. I need treasure. I need you to uh, give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby. Who knows what that's a reference to? The answer is easy, because I said I need treasure. And that's the song. I forget that a uh, happy buckler is free once every turn. Why are you giving me more heads? Did someone say so no head and you took it personally? But your happy buckler is free because I have a, a tooth necklace damaging me every turn. So I get a... Minus one energy cost for this turn, every turn. Meaning that, yeah, it, it's free once per turn. Shackle. 
Adds five rage to self. Pet bed is amazing, by the way. It's uh, probably the most broken item there is. It adds one sleep to enemy on summon. And if your summoning is free, then yeah. You can also recall your pets, which uh, allows you to repeatedly summon a, a pet that has like no energy cost to summon. Just to spam. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna do that just to show off how stupid this item is. Like, I know it's a legendary, and legendaries are uh, notorious for being poorly balanced in some ways. I'm gonna take the shackle. It doesn't negatively affect me until uh, at least turn two. So yeah, I can just uh, look at this enemy, summon, and then for one energy I can recall my pets. And then I can, uh, you know, let's, let's do an example. Let's do that. Recall pets. Then uh, summon Coco again to create more sleep. Ah, uh, yeah. Add more energy. Doesn't matter, though. I kind of want to bring the dynamite back to town. Uh... Cornucopia. Yeah, that's how good sleep is. Pokemon sleep. Whatever happened to Pokemon sleep? I don't know. Paid no uh, mind to that during my days. Old coins. I do need to keep the dynamite. What's it even for again? It was for the explosive arrow. But. This is a big but. Uh, it doesn't matter really. Just king again. Let's see the pets. At least. Just these three. Blinky is uh, interesting. Because it does damage twice, yes. But it has more energy each turn. You cannot believe your eyes. When a... Uh, 10 million fireflies swung face for lethal form 23. That's the Hearthstone parody. I'm getting some treasure at least. Yeah, let's uh make these guys go to bed. Okay. Jerry Jerry, 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 coin. So that's free. One, two, three. Didn't need to sleep. That's how good a uh, jagged blade is. Once again, I am simping for jagged blade. What is with all these heads? I've already cashed in the head. You saw me do it on camera. On screen, right now. No, not on screen right now. Let's throw out the sapphire, get the, uh, the diamond. Actually put it there. Because it gives me a slight benefit. <laughs> Pets? I thought diamonds were a girl's best friend. Alright, Jerry, get him. My god, another red pearl. Well, if I'm getting another red pearl, I think a shackle is kind of outstayed its welcome. Just buff both of those. Both of these. Tribal X. Must have full health. On you, steals 9 damage. That's not bad, actually. Well, I mean, it's eight base, but still, it a uh, it's it's a win more effect. That's what it is. So that's poison ivy. That's uh, not an herb. An herb. It's a herb because I am Australian, so we say herb, not herb. You illiterate pumpkin Americans. That's right. I'm talking to you. You know who you are. Can't spell fucking words right. Worst pronunciation in the world. 
need to not uh, trash talk my audience, they say. I will trash talk who I will. It's not in range. Yeah, there's a there's a letter H there, you need to pronounce that. I wish I could set default starting positions for my creatures. Unfortunately, that's not how that works. Oh no, it's gonna hit me, just kidding, it's sleeping. Shell. Adjacent weapons are disabled. On use adds one block to Pachette. I hope I'm pronouncing Pachette right. Will I change my uh, linguistic patterns if I am incorrect? No. But it's a nice thing. This dude. I, I don't care. This run was won as soon as I had the uh, pet bed. This is because pet bed is so incredibly broken. Alright, here we go. Go to bed. So yeah, King uh, can't actually do anything. I have uh, proceeded to stunlock King already. Yeah, pet bed is not balanced in the slightest. Like, here's the thing about Pachette, she's actively weaker than every other uh, hero except Tote. Except the fact that she has the most broken item in existence in her kit. Like, I don't need the Jagged Blade to win. If I really wanted to, I could just let Lightning deal damage every turn. If I had a Mana Stone for infinite scaling, and just Pet Bed Coco, then I could win. Because, as, like, it, it's, it's a boss. You take away every turn it has. It's not fair. In the slightest. Alright, I get my uh, spark all, uh, all spark. That's consumable, that's a weapon, that's a pet. Pets don't come back to town with me. So I'll take the lost spark. Sorry, Deli, but you uh, didn't do anything. 90% of the uh, carrying right there was done by uh, Coco. Lived in the dungeon most of my life. I've never gone nearly as deep before. couldn't read that part because he was standing on the left side of the uh, screen. But, <clears throat> alright Matthew, let's go. What? Why does the game sometimes do that? Okay, I guess I have one more spark than I needed. Because, I, I, I don't know why. The cultists are there. Dark of horrors and cold breezes. It's also the place where Jagged Blade gets the most value. Well, uh, this means I can unlock Crate as well. Oh, I'm gonna need another bridge, aren't I? Actually, are these lanes connected? They are, aren't they? They are, in fact, not. Okay, so I need another bridge. I'll build it up top. Actually, uh... I can build it here, can't I? I c Okay, never mind, you cannot build a vertical bridge. Bridge cannot be placed here. I'm, I was putting it away, man. <laughs> Very inconvenient. How did you get there? I haven't even bridged my way over there. Alright. Who are you? Pertella. Oh, it's money bags. They're simply the result of carrying too many, many coins. I'm an expert too. I'm great saving too and investing. Oh, piggy bank. This wasn't unlocked before. I guess I only saw it on that challenge. There's a reason every sentence starts with a capital. Isn't all the text in this game capitals? That joke doesn't work, you nonce. Did I gain more money for selling these here? 
Oh, I only gained treasure. Shit. Well, I don't need... Well, actually, I kind of need construction materials. But, I'll probably sell them there now. Well. Wait a second, I already had the robot torso. I needed the legs. Fuck. Waste of time. Actually, I'll give you the, uh, the spark. Why not? Well, I need legs. I wasted 12 gold for that. Alright. Well, if I'm, uh, just getting money... Wait, I can sell pets. Okay, pets do follow you back to town. Never mind. Hang on, I, I tossed you out of my inventory. You came back? How loyal. Right. Sell, sell, sell. I want you to sell your socks off. Get rid of everything. This sells for 30 treasure. Oh, okay, never mind. The bonus has just happened. Well, if nothing else... Uh... Good old buddy, old pal. Oh, I'll keep the pet bed. Yeah, whatever. I'm dawdling. How much treasure is this worth? 36 in total. Uh, I need that dynamite for something. Summoning stone. I get one of these for free every time. I won't sell the pets, that's just inhumane. Oh yeah, golden seed. I forgot. That's a thing. I guess I'm gonna be stuck with this robot body in my inventory for all eternity now, I guess. It's an inconvenience. I don't need gems. Or a shield demon. I have way too many of those. Well, that'll help finance my town. Uh, Sigil. Yes. Thankfully, the librarian literally does not move from the library. That's how it should be. Born of fire. Such a strange burning. And this should unlock the, uh, goth... No, does not unlock the goth, uh, version of Pachette. The one that a lot of people are down bad for. So yeah, finally. Well, we got bridges. We unlocked the, uh, final act, I guess. Which, uh, we'll be doing that next episode. <coughs> yeah, not gonna off-screen anything before that, though. So. Also, we didn't find, uh, what's-his-name when we went to the Magma Core. I wonder where he is. Maybe there's a fourth act. We'll, uh, ask Matthew. But, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then. Goodbye.